So these are the sweet peas we'll be uh, planting up today in our no-dig bed. They've been overwintered, so they are planted in November and it's now middle of April. Um, I think I've showed you these before. There's just one thing I thought I'd show you, which is uh, how I uh, tie up uh, lots of plants, actually. Um, I find it really flexible and, and useful. And uh, you can tie a plant up and you can undo it again and retie it and so on. So I use Velcro and I get... Um, might have a different name in, in the US. Well, it will have, I suppose. Here we call it Velcro and I get quite wide... Um, uh, uh, tape and um, and cut it down so this is how flexible it is I can just cut as many little ties as I want whatever length I want so I'm tying up these sweet peas now to keep them pointing upwards I'm going to plant them out with these little canes um, but as time goes on of course as they grow and they're almost outgrowing these canes now um, we will construct something for them to grow on uh, and I'll take you along on that journey they grow so vigorously once you plant them out You've got to watch them every day, see what you need to do for them. So they're all tied up now and ready to go in the ground. So this is the no-dig bed we prepared uh, just a day or two ago. So last week this was field, a field, and we've done no other preparation but to put cardboard down and then to put five or six centimetres of something on the top. There's two, two types of something here. We've got uh, in the first bed, uh, this is very well matured um, um, uh, horse the horse manure um, the second part in the distance there it's actually uh, we've moved the soil from a previously prepared no dig bed um, because we're making the polytunnel so we've taken a bit of the soil out uh, and moved it along so this is uh, two areas of uh, previous grazing land with some cardboard laid over it and uh, some compost laid on top and uh, we don't wait we just just put the plants straight in uh, I've noticed last year when we did this that uh, it probably took really one season for the for the ground to become uh, at its best uh, during that first season I did get the impression that um, um, that the sort of thick clay sort of soil underneath uh, was uh, needed some uh, further preparation really uh, however we did get uh, a good growing season out of uh, putting the uh, the plants straight in uh, after prepping the no dig bed so we're going ahead with that principle here again today So I've got 14 uh, plants to go in the ground here. I think you know this is the, uh, the uh, this is the new polytunnel, and it's uh, yet to have a cover put on it. Um, but there's no reason why we shouldn't get these hardy plants in the ground now. The tools I've got to do the job here are um, an ordinary trowel, 
um, a bulb planter uh, which puts the hole in the ground and I've got some uh, spent compost to uh, prime the hole before doing the actual planting in the bottom there. So off we go. Punch a hole through the cardboard. Right, so with a plug. So hopefully you can see inside that hole. Uh, that uh, underneath there there's some what looks like not particularly good quality um, clay based um, soil uh, then there's a layer of uh, cardboard and then compost on top so we'll be enlarging that hole a little and then uh, putting some uh, primer compost in and uh, planting up Uh, for interest, this is the plug that we've removed, so uh, we can see the structure of it. Compost on top, grass, meadow, um, the next layer is the cardboard, and then this um, pretty solid looking clay based and soil. So what will happen in the no-dig uh, system is that the new plant will send its roots down into the old ground uh, and will uh, sort of prime, uh, prime the area to uh, uh, bring it into full production by um, well the soil food web uh, basically. So that process will be occurring. Uh, the plant, little worm we see there. So. So we've got to get that plant in that hole and have a bit of space to put some extra compost in. So, it's going to enlarge it. Got a tough job actually getting through the cardboard there on this occasion. of the meadow. That looks good. A trowel full of... This is uh, recycled... No, um, recycled peat-free uh, compost. Nice to see some soil life there. Look at this, you can see it's pretty healthy. Lovely white roots just extending to the bottom of this uh, of this new pot. We potted this up with it uh, just over a week ago, I think. We actually potted this into a, a larger pot, maybe two weeks. I'll put the varieties together if I can. Um, we will construct 
something to keep them and I think I've almost decided to use um, I've almost decided to use uh, pea netting anyway, we'll do another video when it comes to constructing whatever it is that these uh, plants are going to grow on I'll just do the last one of these three uh, on camera Just water these in. This helps to settle the uh, root so if I adhere it to the structure around it. And we're all set to go forward into the growing season. So there we have it, we've planted up our first no-dig bed in our new polytunnel with 15 sweet peas. It's now the 13th of April, so with some luck in about a month we should, or we may have some flowers. We may also have a roof on our polytunnel, maybe. There's the old polytunnel, which I absolutely love. Thanks for watching, bye for now.